Oh, no, some green joys, you know. That was memories, wasn't it? And who would have thought I'm still working after that? <laughs> oh, goodness. That, uh, the clip you were showing early on there, that was, that was 25 years ago. I can't believe and so. Do you know what? I just look at myself and, hey, Robson, you're still alive. <laughs> you're doing very well, Thank doing very, very well. Much, yeah. So, look, Tales from the Coast, yes. the second episode's on tonight, 8 o'clock, yeah, ITV. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, I love what I love about you and you do these things, it's your passion. I think you, know? you mentioned the, the, the word before, it says, I, I really care. Yeah. The wonderful thing about the journey, I think there's something really life affirming. Yeah. about a, a new journey of discovery mm. and you have this overwhelming sense of, of well-being and when you're next to people who are genuinely happy to their core i think that's not only lovely to be alongside but it's lovely to watch no I and i think that's the attraction uh you know this was just a progression from tales of northumberland which yeah. was a show i did Remember and you. was very very popular and celebrated a place that uh, i'm very very proud still to call home sure. and uh it's not an escape for people it's just getting back to just how life should be, mm. you know? Very rarely do we get time to just be. That's very just, true. Just to not only switch off, but just to be in the moment, mm. not being defined by time, and just enjoying being yourself and being in a place that is not, not isolated, but, you know, a place that gives you solitude. So mm. your friends are one minute, they're dolphins, the next they're whales, the next they're these beautiful birds. And, you know, I'm, I'm honoured and privileged to do oh, to wonderful. a job like this. You've been all over the UK, including yeah. the Outer Hebrides as yeah, well. Hebrides. Which, that's a magical place. It that is. Really is it's, a it, place. That's the word. It, it is magical. And who would have thought there's a beach there, I don't even know, it's called Luskantire. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, on a good day, because we know the, the weather can be quite unpredictable Sometimes, and volatile. Sometimes, now and again, now and again. Yeah, yeah, but on its day, it's up there with the Seychelles. Oh, completely. It's totally. That, that turquoise water mm. and that white powder sand. And I swear, I was there for two and a half days camping on my own. I had a few cameras with me, and I just shot this little piece for the show. I was on my own. I didn't see a soul. I did not see a soul, yeah. and there was just miles and miles of idyllic Beautiful. coastline. And hey, maybe it's, it's not about what we want in life, about getting away from it all. Maybe it's, we should appreciate what we have. Oh, and, I can and, agree and sometimes more. what we have that mm. we can appreciate, it's on our doorstep. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. That is very true and yeah, yeah. very wise. Yeah. I, completely, I completely get that. I really yeah. do. Yeah. Now, how, would you, how are you fitting that in with Grantchester? Were you having to do both at the same time, or did, you have, did it work? Because well, you you're, you're so busy. They, 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 well, you know, they say an occupied mind is a happy one. <laughs> It's testament to the writing of Daisy Coulomb that we've got a third series of Grantchester that's wonderful. coming out in the yeah. spring. And again, like Tales from the Coast, like Tales from Northumberland, like most of the dramas I'm involved in, even with Jerome in Soldier Soldier, mm. there was this thing that, that there was a common denominator in them all, and that was likability. Yes. And it was the way we related to one another. And I think that resonates with James Norton. Oh, but you two get on so well off screen. You're like brothers. Yeah, it's, well, there, there is a definite bromance Definitely. going on. Definitely. But there was with, with Jerome and of there course. was with Stephen Tompkins. I mean, look and at that. Raptors. That was cute. Ah, uh, <laughs> he's a good looking lad, isn't he? He's all right. Yeah, you know, he's all he's, right. He's shortlisted for James Bond. The reason why I'm not, I'm just too short, Lorraine. Oh, That's I don't all know. it is. I'm just too short. All good things come in small packages, though. Thank you very That's much. That's the thing. That's have the thing we all have to remember. Have you met my agent? <laughs> That's <laughs> for sure. So are you going to be doing more of this kind of thing, do you think? More of the, you know, because there's a big wide world. You know, yeah. I mean, goodness, last week I was offered four dramas written by wonderful writers. Um, That's great. I got uh, the, the, the people who do the fishing show from America saying, do you fancy going to Seychelles and the Galapagos? I'm oh, like, it must be hell. Give me time to think. <laughs> it's the worst 10 seconds of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I'd love to work with James again. I'm just, I'm just very, very fortunate to be surrounded by good writing, good people, and really, really talented people. Well, long may you continue. And Tales of the Coast on tonight, ITV, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, not to be missed. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. It's great to see you. Really Thank good you. to see you. Thank you very much indeed.